the fully gay. Yes, yes, yes. What's going on, people? Episode 224, Fully Geek Pod. I was going to say full squadron inside, but we have the man then. What's going on, people? What What's is going, going on? on? What's going on, boys? Yeah. Everything is everything. How is mm. How are people? How are people doing? Are you enjoying your week? None of your kids are on... Any of your kids on half term this week? No, my, yeah, my daughter. Actually, yeah, one of mine is. Okay, yeah, mine's are on half term this week, but I know some people that live out in the sticks are not, so or in the burbs. Yeah. Ain't that kind of mad for you? Like, like, don't it feel like you literally they just had half term for Christmas? This is no, what like, I'm literally saying. not at all. Not at all. I was saying this the other day. Like, I, I missed school day. I, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have. <laughs> oh my day. Scheduled holiday, you know, oh scheduled like nice. Like, I swear, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's like every six weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Roughly, yeah. that is a holiday. These are a half term and a holiday, yeah. like every six weeks. Yeah, yeah. Give that's or take. what I should be like. Yes, you know? Oh, that's how life should be like. Cool. I thought you lot was going to try and start mimic mocking the thing, bro. Like, you got to allow us. Bro. No, 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 no. You, need, you, like, you just need that. You need that, that automatic break sometimes. Oh, isn't 100%. It? 100%. No, he's, he's saying hundred percent. He's saying hundred percent because he's getting that break. Yeah. What? But, why yeah. does Why does no one want to spend time with their own children? I don't understand. Because I'm still working. When you're still working, right, and there's half term, it, it's not the lick. But obviously, same here. I, yeah, I don't get half term in it. Yeah, I might. Straight. I probably might get what two. Two out of the like every every holiday, half term, whatever, end of term, I just get two weeks out of that. So my my leave is limited. Yeah, sorry about that. I see. This is what I'm <laughs> gonna say people like Nate just abusing the system. Oh, I want yeah, it's not too late, you know. They're looking for teachers, you know. Right, it's too late. Bro. Not at all, bro. You can go out there, do you? you can be whatever you want to be, bro. <laughs> you feel I can handle these modern day children? <laughs> this is what they need. <laughs> This is this is your exactly what the nah, children need. No, nah, no, nah, I'm telling Learn you now. African, no messing around. This is you can't even really shout at children yeah, no more about, yeah. about being questioned, like oh, oh, you might have affected his mental health. Get out of here. The rights that they got now, yeah. No, but you know, you say that, you know, like it would be easier for you to actually get into teaching than it would have been me back in the day because you come from industry. Yeah. They fog track you man in there now. And then they fast track you to the top as well. But, but do, do you know what it is? I, I don't think I would want to become a teacher. I'll be I'll be more interested in becoming a youth worker. You know, back in there when there was like um, youth youth clubs. youth clubs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You have dedicated youth workers that I remember. I, I never used to go to my with my youth worker. If I had I had problems or anything, but I remember they used to help out people so much with um, home issues and all that kind of stuff and. That's where I feel that I can benefit helping out the youth of today. But when, you know, when it's teaching and being around the kids a majority of the time of the day, I'm sorry, and marking work. So I know Nate goes home. You think we, we, we really think Nate's chilling, but he's looking at work, marking papers. I know other teachers. I phone them. Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I'm, I'm marking paper. Can you call me back tomorrow? You know them ones. So... It's a lot of work, not just the, during the day, it's after work as well. You're still continuing the cycle. Um, it's a valid point. It's a valid yeah, do you get point. What I, mean? I go what to I would primary run. school. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. But I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll be more youth worker, but there's not a lot of youth clubs anymore. So it's a case of it's finding something else to assist the kids with. That was my piece. No, thank you. Um, if you put that in writing for me, then I can put it in next year's appraisal. So thank you. I no like worries. the bit when you said Nathan is at home marking. Yeah. I, 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 I know the effort that you put in. I definitely know the effort you put in and you, you know where you are now and your level of employment. You're not there for no reason. You do through the hard graft. You get me? 100%. That's really sweet, man. You said something nice about Nate this week. Right? I know. Yeah. No, Nate, Nate's my brother. Obviously, like war. Wait, you know, obviously, yeah, obviously, me and Nate go to war, 
um, because he has his views and I have my views. And unfortunately, we tend to clash. However, I respect him as a person and as a family man that he is and his job. So you've got to have love for him. You get me? Thank you. I think I think this should be a new segment. I think every week we should try to say something positive about another member on the team. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, was... This won't last long, mate. <laughs> I don't know. It could be it could be a segment that doesn't go past week one. But um, thank you, <laughs> thank you, brother. I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate no you. But yeah, um, Kel is back in the country, but is tired, so he will be back with us next week. Old man sentence. Cheers. As he gets to these kind of ages, it happens, isn't it? It takes a toll on the body. <laughs> I can't believe I age. Jesus. But anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I can't, you know. Sometimes I can't. But we have had an interesting week this week. There are lots of stuff happening. Um, I'd also like to apologise if people are out of sync. It's just we're just having teething issues with the app at the moment. But um, did any of you, man, watch the AFCON final? That just yeah. took place. No, do you know what? I watched half of it um, and I fell asleep because I was still, I had a lot of alcohol following Arsenal's victory. So <laughs> for, for me to continue the football activity, I can only watch half until the half time. But okay. I know the final score. Ivory Coast 2, Nigeria 1. I've been saying from day one since I've been watching AFCON, Nigeria are dead the way they're playing like the way they've been playing it's like you've been scraping 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 through and i I told someone there's a guy i told i said to him the only way you're gonna win is via juju he goes to me put on your glasses put on your glasses you'll see where is he now he's missing (laughs) there you go they lost two one so big up ivory coast that's what i'm saying they did. They lost 2-1 to the Ivory Coast. Um, Nigeria were never in the game for me, to be honest. Um, I, I said that home that home advantage will go against them, and evidently it did. So, Definitely. shout out all the Ivorians. Um, yeah, well done, man. Do you know what I mean? You are the kings of Africa currently until the next African Cup of Nations, which I don't know when it is. Maybe it's two years' time. Maybe it's next year. Who knows? I think it's in Uganda. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, last week we had as we went as we were actually went to air, we had the Mobile Awards 2024 that took place in Sheffield, I believe. I think highlights you no, can catch was it on was Sheffield in Manchester. Sheffield. Okay. Um, the highlights you can catch on BBC iPlayer. But we were there were lots of winners. There were lots of winners. Um, some of the main winners were Little Sims. Um, Little Sims won Best Hip Hop Act. Stormzy won. No, I think he won Best Music Video. Yeah, Best Video. Yeah. Central C won Best Male Act and Song of the Year for Sprinter. Yeah. And then other people that won were like. I know. One Sorry. best African music act. Yeah. Gets one something I can't remember. Did you not a, win a um, Pioneer? I think he won Pioneer the, Award. Pioneer, okay. Yeah, Mobile Pioneer Award. Um Best and International Buzz- Act was Drake and 21 Savage. Best performance of TV show was Dampson Idris in Snowfall. Jeez. Um Best yeah. Producer. Was inflow, inflow, family, love, congratulations again. Um, also, best R and B soul act went to Salt Family again. To get me the the plaudits. Um, shits and gigs won best media personality. I've always Who? called it shits and gigs. But I don't know if you have you seen it on like YouTube, Facebook, any of them, Instagram. There's the two guys and they're always doing like some, they're reading like something. One's light skin, one's dark skin. And they're usually like reading something that somebody sent in, but they're always just busting up. Is it the one that... 
You must know who shits and gigs. Is that the one that? And the thing is, I think I call it. I call it shits and gigs. It might actually be shots and gigs. But because they always spell it S H X T, I've never known what it was. <laughs> oh, these guys! I don't even follow them, but I know. I know you you're know talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, soul to soul also won best li um, lifetime achievement award. Uh, come on, that speech. Um, that speech. Uh, who is it from? What's his name again? Jesse Jeff. Jazzy Jeff, that speech from Jazzy Jeff, Jazzy J, Jazzy J, Jazzy Jazzy J, that speech from him was proper like heartfelt. Like you know, he's obviously he's original old school, um, breaking through the scene. Um, obviously, when Soul to Soul were back in the day, and there wasn't a lot of black artists, and they broke through. The speech he gave, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't even rap. Obviously, I, I make beats and stuff like that. But I felt it. I felt this. I felt the speech, and I thought, you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna push myself. I'm gonna do it and keep on fighting. No matter any, no matter how many blockers they are, keep on fighting because you'll get through. Yeah, man. It, it's just mad inspiration. Trust me. That's good. There was one that I got. Put a paper on album of the year. Fair enough. Real back in style. The one that I, I was a little bit confused about, just not because I don't like the guy, just no, because I, I'm not sure about the genre. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. It didn't make sense to me either. Bugsy, winning best Ooh. grime act. Which I, which I struggle with that because I am a bit confused because the last time he did a grime tune was a, a while ago and everything he's been doing hasn't been related to grime. I, I, obviously, I haven't listened to maybe the underground scene, but everything publicly he's put on his... Instagram or I've listened to and Spotify has nothing to do with Grime. So I bit I think I was a bit shocked by that personally. I think I, I think that's more UK rap. Or or do you know what I mean it's that it's UK yeah, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. not UK rap, UK hip hop, because obviously they have like random hooks and stuff like that, but I wouldn't call it grime. Like not grime as it was. Yeah, exactly. Not the grime you make. Yeah, so grime has definitely evolved. I mean, it, to be fair, grime has evolved significantly um, to more of a techno, tech, techno, drilly kind of soundings now. So, and obviously, there's always been orchestra kind of influences in there. It, it has evolved, but the stuff that I've he I've heard him do before in the past, like of recent times, I wouldn't call that grime. So, sorry, this wouldn't. is just random. As a producer. What do you make now? Do you still make grime as we know it? Or have you kind of gone with the Afro swing grime and all that kind of stuff? Or drill grime? Honestly, what are you yeah, so my my grime is is drill grime with Afro grime. Like that would just the other day I made a I, I won't call it a grime tune, but it sounds like a seventies um, a song. It's, it sounds like a Jamir choir, but it's one forty. Um, I, do you know what? I'm not even, I wouldn't call myself a grime producer anymore. I'm just a producer that play, makes anything. I'm more of experimental producer. So everything I will play of every type of sound there is from a rock sound to an orchestra sound to a, a 70s type of sound. I, I just do anything. Anything that comes to my mind, which gives me the energy to kind of, to do anything. Do you get what I mean? So when is the world going to hear it? Um, well, I've got two EPs coming out, one in April and one in June, but that's just me with another two producers um, releasing like an EP. From Based on those two EPs, that's when I would release something probably in um, September, October, October, September, maybe November, because my name would have been in the in the in the scene in the game making music. Do you get what I mean? So everyone's like, "Oh yeah, he's back, he's back, he's made a tune of this person, he's made a tune of that person." Oh, what's he gonna come with next? So with that EP, that those two EPs that I would have released with my guys, then my one would just drop, my solo one would just drop, and then then go on and throughout the next year. Have you got any you artists just, that you're thinking about working with? Um, to be to be honest, I'm not. 
I'm not looking at artists to be working with, you know. Obviously, it's no, a great thing no, to work in, with. Do you want someone to spit over your, your beats? Um, yes, I would. But my again, my music that I make, I don't... When I make music right now, I think of computer games. I think of film. But I don't think of lyrical content on them. I want to make a song. I want to make a beat. That will go into a film, and that will, that will go into an animation, that will go into a video game of some sort. I don't look at that kind of aspect anymore. Obviously, so you're, like you're like go looking, on. for example, like if we could get one of your tunes in GTA Six, that's you. Oh, bro, that's my long life. Like, see, things have changed over the years, right? I, I know what I'm. I'm, I'm going on. You say like, in the interview. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm just. You know, I'm interested no, about this. No, but I feel like the people need to know, like, you know, the few people need to know who you are, bro. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, but, but you know what it is, right? With music, right? How things transcended with me, I was like, oh, I want to make a beat, right? That was my thing. Oh, yeah, I can make a beat. And then I wanted it to be played on Deja Vu. That was my long life ambition. If I get a tune played on Deja Vu, I'll be the most happiest person in the world. That was it. That's where I wanted to go. And then it just progressed. And my tunes were being played on one extra, um, um, Kiss 100. I was like, oh my God. Then I made tunes for like, um, there was a there was an album that come out um, under 679 called, I can't remember, but we had Kano and everyone on it. Uh, but one of my beats were on it. And then I've had tunes on like Grime Daily, tunes on, the little um productions like um little short films and all that kind of stuff so it's just like it's just progressed and you think oh my god where can i go next and my avenue that i want to go next is definitely within the film industry sync licensing. Or, sorry sync licensing there you go sync we licensing. talked about this a couple of months ago i remember yeah and that that's exactly where i want to go that's 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 my if i hit that target well, I think once you get the link in, you're in. Do you get what I mean? So, and um, there's a few people I know who've done it and who are doing it. And that are people that follow my Instagram. I talk to them. You know, we, I talk to random people on Instagram. Right? People think I'm mad. But when it comes to music, I just like talk, 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 talk. And we, have, we build a connection. And then on the basis of that, they will bring you into a project that maybe they feel my music can work with. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember... I made a tune for SmackDown about 10 years ago. Um, but and I sampled something from a group called Deftones. And and the guy called Raymond Herrero, I found I met him on um MySpace and he, he was listening to my music and he goes to me, What kind of music is this? I said, oh, it's called Grime, it's UK. But he was so mesmerized by my music, and then I made a tune with um I don't know if you remember Demon and Bruiser um, yeah. called The Rush. And it was a rock tune, but grime. And that tune blew up like from a grime aspect of things because no one had ever kind of merged um, grime with rock. Exactly. And it never, ever did it. So I obviously formalized it. Those guys spat on it. And that, get, that tune was instant, one extra battery in that tune for months and months and months. Um, and always asking, when is it going to come out? But we never really kind of released it. And that um, Raymond Herrera heard it. He says, oh my God, we need this tune. And they had it for, and Herrera said, oh yeah, I know Deftones. They should be okay. But Deftones, boy, they wanted some serious, like 95% cut of the tune that was going on to SmackDown. And there was so much politics. I had the contract and everything come from the US and all sorts, but but it just it just fell through right at the end. But that was I think if I had got that into into SmackDown, I would have constantly had music in in actual like gaming and stuff like that. You should have just signed it though. Was that? You should have just signed it. No no but I couldn't sign it because def because um SmackDown would was saying that the cut they want it's too much. Even though they okay. like the song, they really like the song because it had British artists on it, and yeah, they liked yeah. the way I, I worked on the beat. They, they loved it, but it was just a, it was just a 
politics. That's all it is. Music's always politics. Everything you go in, like from your aspect of things, as from a teaching background, politics, what Merv does, what Marlon does, what I do, there's always some form of politics. And it just takes one person to say, yes, this this go. And it takes one person to say <laughs> no. And basically, you're in the ruins. That could have been it, though, bro. I know, no, that, 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 that could have been take, it. Take that sacrifice. Okay, we, we, we don't get paid much from this, but our name will now be... That's what, like, Kanye and them do, right? Because them yeah, samples yeah. that he first... Like, he ain't... They make no money off that. But then, yeah. look at him today. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. I All still right, speak well, to him. Yeah. Money Mar, we're coming to you in a couple of weeks, bro. <laughs> you can't have no big studio looking like this in the background. And you don't talk to us about what you're doing, my bro. Give me two yeah. months. <clears throat> no worries. <laughs> all right, two months, you head here first. All right. And Merv, I see all the, the action figures, so we're coming for you as well, bro. By the way, oh, this, is, this is the rental room. It's not mine, it's not mine, all right? I don't know if any of you did. I did. Did, I did any of you stay well. up to watch the Super Bowl 2024? Look. I, I don't stay up for this nonsense, yeah. However, so okay. No, no, no. And I, I, I didn't stay up to watch it. I obviously watched the replay. I'm not into the Super Bowl, NFL, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I was there for the performances and what I saw of the um, trailers the next day. Yeah, I, I watched the um, obviously the trailers, TV spots, adverts, um, Usher's performance. Okay. Yeah, that's what I watched. All right, well, talk to me because to be honest, all right, Asha, I watched, yeah, the trailers and stuff. Can we only watch them online? Because obviously, it didn't come on our TV. I think, I think online, yeah. Because I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I sat there, watched Super Bowl, fell asleep, was boring as hell, yeah. Um, I was up to watch the Asha performance and I, I was looking for the adverts. I said, hold on, I don't see no adverts, I just see them advertising Sky Sports and. The fact they've got a tennis channel coming out and all this stuff. So I really, I've missed a lot of the trailers or TV spots. So you're going to have to hook me up. So what have I missed? Oh, so it, it might it might be one of those ones because it, so it, it actually aired in the UK, like on Sky Sports. Yeah, so the, the Super Bowl, it aired in Sky Sports yeah. and on ITV. Okay, so it might, it might have been one of those ones where I suppose when it came to advert time. You just showed we, it just normal. got out. Got our normal yeah, adverts, yeah. and whereas then they got like, yeah, so now they had a couple of adverts, like, because they do like quite good adverts as well, innit? So you had like, I think it was Dunkin' Donuts with um J Lo, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon, which is really good, good actually, because it's like it's like the the kind of Boston connection, innit? Because like Matt Damon and um, what's his name, like, and I think uh, some some football player, Tom. I can't remember his name, but he's a famous football player. Brady? Um, Brady. Tom Brady? Yeah, Tom Brady, that's it. Yeah, so I think they were like all the Boston crews. So that was quite funny. Like, you could just see Ben Affleck was just having fun with it. Um, they done like, a, I think, a BMW advert with Christopher Walken as well. And they're just basically just doing his voice. Like, Arnie had an advert um, where he was just pronouncing these words for weird, didn't it? And everyone was thinking about it. And Danny DeVito showed up in it as well. Um, Michael Michael Sarah advertised some cream which was called Vera Cream. No, Sarah, Sarah Cream, something like that. But basically, like a cream that's got his same surname. And it's like, yeah, if you apply my cream and and all that. So the, the adverts were quite funny. Like they were quite interesting as well in itself. Um, TV spots like Kung Fu Panda. I think Despicable Me. Um, when you say TV spots, what do you mean? So like Sorry. those are like the second t TV spots, isn't it? Like the, you know, like the 30, 40 second ones. Oh, like this is coming out soon, like the trailers or yeah. Something. So like, yeah, so they like it's trailers, but it's more, it's more like TV spots, like that, like you would see on an advert, basically. Okay. So they're like you know, like if you if you was watching TV and it would go to adverts, like you won't get the whole two minute trailer. You'll just get like the thirty seconds okay. of advert. Or, like, yeah, but I think we had like. A Quiet Place Day One, which is going to be the prequel to A Quiet Place. Um, uh, Despicable Me, Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Despicable Me 4, by the way. Um, and the trailers, Twisters, 
King of, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Witches, not Witches, um, Wicked. Um, there was another one. So when you say Wicked, Wicked in, in the right, first right. Right. Like, yeah, like the, yeah, like the the Wizard of Oz Wicked, yeah, the Wicked okay. Witch of the West. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, for the Fall Guy, I had the Fall Guy as well. Um, but obviously, Deadpool, Deadpool, isn't it? Which is Deadpool 3, which is now known as Deadpool and Wolverine. So all the time we thought it would be Deadpool 3, the actual film title was going to be Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, um, what well, a Merv. So obviously that was the big one out of all of them, right? And what, what was, oh, yeah. I don't know if you, the rest of you guys seen the trailer. I, I, I think that's what the whole world really tuned into to yeah. Super Bowl 4. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, was to see that trailer. And, oh. um, God, and I was going to say, what are your thoughts? Has everyone else seen the trailer for um, Deadpool and Wolverine? Yeah. 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 Um, okay. I, give it, yeah, give I, loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it, man. Like, yeah, I got, I got excited for it. Like, I like, I love the fact that it started off with him just being like the normal. Well, obviously, like, it's his birthday, isn't it? And his, his hair looked a bit funny, but I realised he's wearing a wig afterwards, isn't it? But, um, like, but he, he just basically got taken and he got taken to the TVA, which we just recently saw in the Loki um, season yeah. series. Yeah. So immediately it's like, oh my gosh, this is a proper so, like... So that was TVA then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, see. So that, that's immediate yeah. Deadpool going into the MCU, isn't it? Like, okay. like he's there now, he's in the MCU. Like, so, and they're just basically just showing him clips of all, all the events that are happening in, in yeah. the MCU and all that stuff. And I don't really know what the plot of the story is, but it kind of looks like he's there to save something or stop something from happening. But obviously, like, yeah, he's, he's got a job to do. But, yeah, it's clearly, from what it sounds like, it's still going to be um, R-rated, which is good, Perfect. because obviously Perfect. you don't want to water down Deadpool. Like, it's no point. And, and obviously still the, the full, full breaking as well. Um, yeah, like, I think... We, I think yeah, we saw we saw a couple of the same characters from the Deadpool and um, um, films, like he's um, he's land he's, his roommate and Blind mm. now I think she's called um, the, t the taxi driver Colossus. I think yeah, um, I understand it, yeah. that Sonic Woman, um, even Pyro from X Men Three, I think it was X Men Three, no X Men Two. Remember when um, Flame when Pyro the one in the fire? Yeah, he he was there. Um, they also had, um, obviously, Wolverine at the end of it. Yeah, which is, yeah. which is, a, I think that was a really good way to do it because obviously it's called Wolverine, Deadpool versus Wolverine. So you kind of expect um, and Wolverine. So I'm glad that they didn't show him fully exactly. because that's the thing that everyone's really waiting for. Like obviously we've seen what it looks like. We've seen stills and whatnot, but I, I reckon for a first trailer, they, I'm glad they didn't show too much. Yeah, I, 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 I can I can wait I can wait till July just to watch the film. I don't even want to see another trailer to be fair. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think we really and truly we have to see another trailer. I think that was sufficient enough. D to be honest, well, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest, obviously. I'm always honest. I didn't really enjoy the trailer. I didn't think it was mind blowing that got me excited. I think I I know what to expect from Deadpool. Uh, if you if you've mm. seen the previous ones, you, you know. It's comical and everything else, and that's what I saw. Like the yeah. whole, what was it? The called is it the third? Was it the third wall? What do you call it again? The fourth wall. The fourth wall. Him, you know, yeah. him dissing Fox and doing what he does. So I, I was okay with that. But again, yeah. and like the whole Wolverine thing, that was the key point for me. It's just like that's it. I've had enough. Bring the film out. Do you get what I mean? But the, the, no, the, about, yeah. the trailer didn't do anything for it. Didn't it? Didn't say it. Didn't get me excited. Excited to say it, it didn't get I your cannot. juices flowing. Yeah, it, yeah. Pause. <laughs> do you know what? It, do you know what it is? Yeah, I think it's just the idea of it because we know, we know that there's like a handful of cameos to come as well. So we, we potentially got Patrick Stewart coming back. We have got Jennifer Garner um, as Electra. Um, Potentially, like being great, like it, 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 like yeah, because 
really truly, like you said, it's the same. We kind of know what to expect, and he's gonna he's gonna do wisecracks and all that stuff. But I think it's just the idea that now he's in the MCU. Now, what what's gonna happen? That's what I'm curious about. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. The bit that I, 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 I couldn't get over, I couldn't get over, was he jokingly called himself the Marvel Jesus. Okay. I, and I, I don't think it's acceptable. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's not acceptable. It's sacrilegious, brother. You can't call look, yourself look, Jesus. Look, look, you, so, no, you can't have this kind of That's conversation stop with it, stop people it, like stop Richard it. like that are just not spiritual in any sense. No, no, no. It's not, it's not bad. Means, what are we talking about? It's an it, R-rated it, film. They wouldn't say... They they wouldn't do have anything like they want. Said, you would have never said, I'm the Mohammed. I'm the- of, Could of you MCU. say I'm the Marvel Muhammad? Like, you, like they would be out, like it doesn't bro, make they sense. They would like, be you know, don't running see that. down um, theaters, bro. You can't <laughs> say you're the Marvel Jesus, bro. Like he didn't even say I'm the Marvel Jesus. You know, he said Marvel Jesus, bro. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Nah, I just feel like do you know what even I if you just said I'm the Messiah of the MCU, that's a bit better. But to actually point out. Like it's always a mockery on Jesus, and I don't know if we noticed that. Like so, the Grammy, so, so, everything we watch is just a mockery, but it's it's allowed to get away with. And I'm with Nate on this one. So, are you guys really telling me you guys were offended by that from what he said? I'm the yeah. Marvel Jesus. Yeah. You 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 guys. No, as you. we should be. No, but as we should be though. That's my issue. As we should be. Because there's no other religion that would accept this. Yeah. I, just I guess I guess no one family guy. I guess no one watches family guy here, boy. <laughs> that attacks everyone. No matter what, everyone. The, the, the fact you attack everyone, it means that you're you're using the same vim with everyone, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is that yeah, 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 yeah. When you say Marvel Jesus, I just think that's wild. Like, and also he said it in the trailer, and there was like three seconds like silence afterwards. Like he tried to like <laughs> like like he like to give himself ratings that he said that. He said, I guess they're calling me the Marvel Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah? I can't get involved in this argument. I, I, look, I have no problem with it, to be honest. It's it's yeah, an yeah. art. It's, 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 I personally think, I, I, I don't care who he, he would have mentioned and what type of God it would have been, right? Or, if he had or, said, if you, you know, think, if he, if he, if he, would, he, would you have said, I'm the Marvel Muhammad? I have no idea. I don't know. You can't no, just ask me that, that question. You can't ask me that question when he hasn't done it. Oh, but he's done Marvel Jesus, though. So that he has done. Yeah, so but, why but can't not Muhammad. Him? You're asking me a question about Muhammad. I can't answer about Muhammad. I can only no, ask a question saying, about Jesus. So what, um, I mean, he said Marvel Jesus. What were your thoughts on that? You think it's okay? To be honest, because I didn't care. It, it didn't offend me. I wasn't offended. But obviously, so based you on your... No, no, no. Man of faith. No, no, no. It's, it's not about being the man of faith. Well, obviously it is, Rich. A few of his, that's it is. A you can't be offended by it. If How can it not be not? about that? What, what is it about then? That's so silly. It's not about... No, what look, is it about? If, look, if, the, I, if, there's a, if there's things sorry. that say, don't blaspheme against God, and then someone literally blaspheme... Uh, uh, you know what? I'm not even casting my pearls right now. Look, that's all it was. It's pointless. blasphemous. Bro. Okay. All, all I'm going to say, I respect your opinions. No, you don't, but thank you for saying no, that. No, no, I respect your opinions. Of course I respect you if I have to, because <laughs> it's your opinion. Obviously, if you have a different opinion from me, then I get that, then cool, then we can move on. It's just, it's just opinions, right? At the end of the day, nobody's wrong. It's simple as that. It's, it's your own opinion. No, 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 no. There, there are people oh, we'll see who's right and wrong. We'll see. For, for, for when? How are we going to see who's right and wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on, like you said. Let's move on. No, but how are you going to find... Let's I want to know on. how let's we not, can find out who's right and wrong. Well, you, it's pointless saying it to you because you're, you know... You're, no, you're, no. you're Richard, look, isn't you? Hey! Look, geezer. This is, this is, <laughs> a, tra- <laughs> this is a trailer. This is a trailer. <laughs> All right, let's move on. You said move on and you're going on and on about it. No, let's because, move on. All right, because you, right, me you and Nate just, had an opinion about something. You no, don't. You've just said... You've just said... Hold on. You've just said we're going to see. I'm just like... We will. We will. Where, where are we going to see? No, you Maybe ain't. You might not gates, see anything. You know, I'm, it's fine. Move it. Let's move on. What's, what's the see, next one? Also, see, also, I feel also, threatened now. 
That's this is the thing. Oh, Rich. I feel, Rich. It, you're trying to look. That's a that's a threatening yeah. behavior. Also, so Rich. I want. Oh, I need, no, no, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. I feel threatened, right? So I need to understand where you're coming from by you saying you will see. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I but you, you can't see th this kind of statements. You can't. You can't say no, that. Bro. I'm not. I'm not threatening you. I'm not saying I'm going to do anything. Well, obviously. You, you know, friend, however, us, however, it sounds like a, a threat. Okay. Well, let me I'm make. Like, oh, so Merv, I, Merv, does that sound like out. a threat to you? <laughs> why are you bringing in Merv? Merv, Merv, no, just Merv, is, why in, why Merv, Merv is here. Merv is the only man not speaking about it. Obviously, you've so got. Then why you bring him in? You have Nate. Obviously, I'm asking Merv. Doesn't that sound like a threat? Presented to about film and TV, well, really. You know? Also, I mean, but this it's is about what TV, we're talking but about. I'm, but this is what we're talking about. It is this. about film and TV, as we're referring to a trailer. But you so, also got to understand, it's not about it's not about Deadpool. Deadpool said the words. Those words were written, and those words came from a multi-million pound company called Disney. And actually, it's about it's deeper than what he just said. It's the fact that these lot will openly just mock a religion and. That's what I think is wrong with it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the fact that you openly mock a religion, regardless of what you think about whether you believe in Jesus or not, you can't openly do that. Because if we did that about other religions, there would be war on our hands. And that's what I'm saying. In terms of you being threatened, we're not threatening you. Oh, only you God know, can it, judge, bro. It wasn't, it wasn't you. It was Marlon. It wasn't Marlon. Say those words. You all listen back, but it's just one of those things. Like, we'll what, what do you mean? Moving. It was Marlon who said it, right? What or did, did I you say? say? What, did I say? what did I say? Remind me. You will see. So what? Uh, that's a threat to you. You will see. We'll see what happens, isn't it? That, how's that threat? Sorry, sorry that you're scary, uh, uh, big bad rich. I mean, we'll just you know. Anyway, I felt threatened. Um, it, it's how I felt, isn't it? It's all about how I feel. It's well, about how God, you feel. God that you not be mocked. I'll just, say that. I'll just put that in yeah. there. Next, he's going to tell me he feels like a bird. What? So now you're mocking me? No, no, no. I'm saying you're allowed to feel like a bird. Okay. Then that's you're allowed right to feel like whatever you want to feel like. See, see, my problem is what you guys say on camera and what you guys say off camera. So I wonder how much blasphemy you didn't get that funny, but he didn't, didn't, didn't get it. Sorry? Nothing. Okay, cool. But anyway. But also, in the group, I told you that I'm not happy about this. But anyway... That's by and by. And I 100 yeah. it on the back of that. So. I know. I know. Um, guys, is there any other trailers going on? What's we going on? Is there anything else that's come out before I get into the latest episode of Power? Um, I, uh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, uh, there was a, a movie I watched on Apple TV. I don't know if we're at that stage yet. Sorry. No, no, Marlon. I, I want you to talk. Go ahead. You go. Okay, first. so I watched a movie on Apple TV the other day. It's called ISS. Don't know if anyone else has watched it. It's pretty. It's, like football. it's quite a short film. Mm? I was thinking in my head. No. That's what I, I was. No, uh, International Space Station. Okay. At the ISS. Yeah, so it's um basically it starts with the ISS. Um, you got the Americans on the ISS, and then the Russians dock, and they get on, and then cut a long story short, someone sees like explosions on earth but they think it's volcanoes erupting and then they find out that there's a war, a war between russia and america while they're in space and then america's america tells the americans astronauts to take the ship the russians tell the russian astronauts to take the ship i'll leave it there it's not a bad watch oh, so all over the international super the space station i said international superstar soccer sorry no <laughs> international space station that's that's hard that sounds hard yeah, it's, not bad. it's not a bad movie it's quite short, That's 90, on TV. 95 minutes, something like that, 90 minutes. Okay. And you recommend it? Uh, it was a, it's not a bad watch. It's suspenseful. You kind of know what's going to happen, I think, but it's not a bad watch. Yeah, Any I recommend big stars? it. I recommend it. Um, there's a couple of faces that I recognize, but I couldn't tell you their names. You know, oh, there's the guy from, um, oh my God. Oh, you don't, you might watch it. Mindy. You might not have watched it, so you wouldn't know who he is. All right, cool. There's a guy the from Mindy Minion. Project. The Mindy Project, yeah. You know the one that, that who's also the doctor, the dark haired doctor that works with Mindy. I think sometimes they go out of each other every now and then. Um, is it Chris? You know, Chris. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I fully, that's yeah, I fully haven't. I fully haven't watched the Mindy, but I just. I oh, you didn't know watch it? it. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, yeah, no, I just. I, I wouldn't know who's Ariana. 
I would have never been on the deposit anyway. Yeah, he he's in um oh I don't I don't think I've seen her before. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've yeah, it's, it's only it's only Christmas scene is the one I recognise actually. Well what, what Marlon, how many cast members are in this TV show? Uh, six. Well, and there's the one from Game yeah. of Thrones. That's what I'm thinking. I'm looking at I am uh, IMBD and I'm thinking, right, there's only six people. Like, what's going yeah. on? Don't get me wrong, it's not an Aspect. amazing movie, but it's just a it's an easy watch. Okay. Pilo Aspect, the guy from Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's who I was talking about. Yeah. He looks like a he looks like um Pacey. I don't know, random. Yeah, he doesn't look like um Joshua Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Joshua Jackson. Yes. Yes. The one he goes out with um she go he goes, he's married to the girl. What's her name? The one that's from that film, bro. Um the Queen one... and Slim. Queen. Oh, oh what's God. her name? Jody something. Jody something. You know what? I think I need to watch that film again, you know. I ain't seen that film in a lot. You know, there's sometimes I like, just like to re-watch a film. I'm gonna re-watch that film. That was a powerful film. Powerful. Jody, that's powerful movie. But yeah. I know her name yeah, Jody something. Jody. Turner Smith. They got, they got kids yeah, together, innit? It. Yeah, they got kids together. Yeah, married also. Yeah. Shout him out. Are you seeing Tom Dawson Creek here? Yes. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Sorry. All right, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we had the season finale of Raising Canaan, Power Book 3, Season 3, Episode 10, Made You Look Like the Nas Song. Jeez. What were you not thinking about this 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 season finale? Was like it everything said, you wanted or more? Like I said, this has probably got to be one of the top five power episodes ever, like in the whole power universe. And I stand by that. The whole power yeah. universe. Yeah, the whole power universe. He's talking like reckless. Reckless. <laughs> He's talking reckless. That one. Top that one. Five. The last episode. Yeah. The last, the last one of um, Power Book Two, um, the Tariq one, the one we just saw. That last one was was smoke yeah. as well. Yeah. I can't really remember. Like, I, I know it's the top five, so I can't remember all the rest of them. But yeah, even think, season, the even five. original Power. Yeah, I said what I said. <laughs> like, it's the top five. <laughs> I like Whoa. that. I said what I said. Whoa! Now, do you know what? <laughs> To be fair, it, it, it was good. It, it was good. I did really, really enjoy it. Um, can I just touch on one one subject quickly? Yeah, you know, enough famous is mum. She needs to get dealt with instantly. Do you know that? <laughs> what in, in what way? Well, in who turns in a gun to the police, right? Then, and then obviously the police are going to come and say hi. How's it going? They're gonna trace. They're gonna look at the gun and see if it's ever been used. I generally thought. I generally thought there was some innocence there. I, I generally thought that she felt like she was doing the right thing, and I don't think she ever would have thought that her son was capable of doing some madness like that. Yeah, she's the gun out. It's dangerous. She had. She has no idea that her son's a murderer. Basically, no. She would never yeah, think so. I, I totally get that, but listen, why the hell are you going to the police to give them a gun? That no, is, you, that, that you, is. Come on, come really. Maybe you don't go to the police, but you do get rid. Like, if you came home and your youth's got like, I don't know, I don't know, a bar of coke in your yard, brother. You flush that down the toilet. You get rid of it, innit? Yeah, yeah. You get rid of it either way. That's the problem. You get rid of it. So, like, no, obviously, no, you, you you wouldn't flush it down the toilet. Common sense wouldn't let you do that because you know there could be a comeback because of that cocaine belonging to someone else. Right? Okay, but that's because you, you kind of know the game a little bit, yeah? But I mean, don't, like, I'm not involved. I'm not involved. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't the thing is, I was going to ask, why wouldn't you allegedly, flush it down the toilet? Allegedly. There's a one where cocaine rats. Some cocaine allegedly. rats going about and stuff. Yeah, that, I can understand, no, I mean, but I don't, I don't know the rules, innit? <laughs> like, you got the gun, obviously. You want to get rid of it, innit? Now, wait, you can't walk down the road and just say, oh, hey, I've got found this gun. So you hand it to police, innit? Bro, just bury the yeah, gun in the back garden. Just bury it. That's or, worse. It's worse. No, no, but you know what? Or put it in a dustbin. Yeah? Wrap it in clothes. Do something. Make sure it's all clean. Wrap it. Gone. That's nah, all you again, need to do. Bro. Again, you've lost that innocence now. You're, you're now doing conspiracy. 
Oh, come Bert on, Gaza. The river, man. Look, if you're protecting your son, you won't take the gun to the police. It's it's, it's that simple as that. You wouldn't well, the son do that. Even live with the mum. The son won't even check in for the mum. No, but obviously when he came back to the house to move back in, obviously he brought his stuff back in, didn't he? So no, but he didn't have the gun then. The, the gun was he. I think he left the. Gun, I think the mum left the gun. He left the gun there from before. Oh, is it from before? Yeah, yeah. I think it was when he oh, went. Yeah. They, were, they weren't living together. Okay, Giza. But no matter what it is, you don't go to the police. Thank you. You just you just don't do that. It's just, that's the, probably one of the worst things you can do. And now your son's in a situation where he's struggling to get out of. Now he's in the first case because when no, they no, find course. out, that, yeah, without us ruining the the rest of the episode. No, you, it's a straight spoiler. So that spoiler sign better come out right now, bro. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's see, no. by the way. <laughs> Calm down. Spoilers. Put the spoilers out. We've got things to talk about. <laughs> Honestly. Oh. Yeah, there that's you go. The, that's that's right. it. That's the, it. the spoiler so sign we came right. out. We were right. Lou weren't dead. Yeah. <laughs> but but, but do, do you know what? Yeah, I, I think we established that, right? So, obviously, we said last week he's definitely not going to die. They won't kill him. But I, I was just like... I respect them taking him to a, a, a counsellor yeah. to get him help. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Obviously, I, I don't think Lou can recover. His head's gone. Bro. Yeah, because he's he tried, gone. Yeah, because yeah, he must. He, yeah, yeah. You you must try to take his life as well, isn't it? Yeah, well. and this I'm not gonna lie. So, it was yeah. weak, though, man. Like when I saw the whole setup, I was like, "Brother, come on, you're doing too much." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know what? Yeah, that that bit was a bit not to say obviously like you know suicide is a serious thing in it and but I think the way you portray it on TV it almost kind of has to hit you a bit in it but I thought okay I don't I don't know yeah that that bit didn't I don't think they they really translate that too well however that whole beginnings um, segment with him and and Rack where like I was probably getting emotional bro I thought this is like the yeah. most it's very rare that there's emotional moments in power. And even when they're trying to be emotional, it's funny. But this this part was like, yeah, it was, yeah. Oh man, this, this is like some good writing, and, and, and especially for a character that we just that we can't stand. It just gets on our nerves. There was a bit of redemption in his character that I felt, yeah, like this is kind of paid off now because actually I I I feel your pain in it, and I felt yeah. like Rack was also like, you know how you know how dismissive she can be all the time. She's just always like. <laughs> like, but this time she was like, <laughs> she was just like, no, I'm like, I'm listening to the counselor. The counselor just bars on me. I've got nothing to throw back, and I just need to listen to my little brother, isn't it? Yeah. So I, that, I, was, and, that was that was Yeah. Yeah, because and she was saying, she said to him like, I love you. You know, I was when you were born, I was holding you yeah. in my arms and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And we have never seen seen that from Rack because she's always I'm, been. I'm a joking moment, you know. Yeah, yeah it, I was like, <laughs> I was watching like that, bro. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I did, I did really enjoy that that segment because I think she, she went, she initially went in there thinking for something else, but um, like a quick Lou, tip, isn't it? yeah, but Lou actually, obviously, told his counselor the only person I can speak to is my sister, and yeah, obviously, yeah. she she didn't really realize why she was there until the counselor kind of broke it down and said to her like. He requested you to be here because obviously he wanted to speak to you about his emotions and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought that was I thought that was that was deep. That was deep, and, and I thought based on that because because it said he's been there for two weeks. Um, yeah. So yeah. I thought based on that, obviously I knew it's power. So I thought, okay, yeah, he's recovered. He's gonna kind of come come back. But obviously, continue to watch the show. It was like he hasn't no way he's recovered. And the way yeah. I see it, there's no way he can go back to Jamaica Queens. There's no way he has to leave. He has to leave power. Yeah. No, well, not not yeah, leave power, but leave to a different state because yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is too much. There's too much going on in his head that he cannot stay in that or be around all that. In the yeah. words of, um, in words of famous in his song from episode one, there's too many bodies. Was it? Do we put it? I can't remember what famous song. Do you remember famous song? Yeah. yeah. Street from the barn. Yeah. That was it. There's too many of them, and that's why he's struggling. 
Mm. Um, Marvin, you can see FBI trying to fuck with him. How can how can they come to the man's funeral, bro? I know, I know. But this this is what they do, and especially that's, that's when the truth, isn't it? Any any program you see or film with, with funeral, the FBI or, or feds always show up there. No, but you notice that if he was in the main part of the funeral, I hear it. Man was standing yeah. aside, like where even like do you get me? Like obviously he still cared for my man, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He still cared for Gerald. Hmm. They tried to taunt him, but he, I think both Marvin and Lou both handled yeah. it like geez, bro. Even though Lou was in the, the loony bin. Like sorry, that's that's bad. I can't say that. They, no, he was in the the mental health um, rehab facilitation. Yeah, I hope but, no one else is offended by that comment. I apologize. I realized it was it was out of turn, and I corrected my mistake straight away. Okay, um, but I will say that even when he was there, he still represented, and like he was like, nope, nope, they don't talk to police. Yeah. Like I, I respected it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the fundamental rule. Growing up, you don't talk to the police. That's it. Okay, we understand. And, and and you know what's funny? It's like, are the police stupid? Why the hell would you go to his brother in the first place? It's not like, what, you think his brother's going to say anything, really and truly? It is, it's, not cheap, like, it? it's not like the police The police have found out there's, there's something going on between them, like there's kind mm. of internal family beef. They haven't found out anything. They just, they just think... We're gonna, we're gonna come down and talk about your brother. It's like, bro, you know, it's you're wasting your time. It's an awful FBI, and oh, the yeah. reason why I think it's an awful FBI is because why have none of you tried to pull in Rack yet? What sense does it make? Yeah, you pulled in Marvin. You tried to speak to Lou. You tried to speak to Jukebox. You spoke to Kanan, but you haven't spoken to Rack. Yeah, yeah. Nonsense, nonsense. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is nonsense. Yeah, they should be pulling in rack straight away. But rack won't give them nothing. The rack, no, hundred percent. But that's the only way you're, you're doing your your your, your job properly. And yeah. that you see. So obviously, you got Howard. Howard meets the union rep. Kebab head. He goes. He goes to a union rep here, and meets the chief of police and the FBI guy. Yeah. Yeah. You see that the chief of police. Yeah. Bro, how has he just switched like this? Last week he was backing his boy, yeah. Now he's coming like, no, we must get him. Yeah. There's no loyalty. I, I, I think I think it's he, 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 he everything's at stake now, isn't it? I think they've got too much information that's compelling. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, boy, yeah it's definitely I'm the pressure. chief of police. Like, why am I why am I gonna sort of like back a rat a rat cop basically, isn't it? Like a, a dodgy cop. No, nah, so real talk. Claim, and this, that's the same thing I thought. I just kind of thought he's under the caution now. There's too much information, like related to what's going on, and it's just like let's let's just let's just get Howard. Let's get him for what he is, for what he's doing. Um, yeah, and even what's her name's dad? Um, I can't remember the name of the officer that died, but her dad was like, I think, like he even re he, he he asserted himself, like to say, I was police as well. I was in a powerful position. So yeah, yeah. even though he's not police yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. He knows, like, it's not just like some average dad coming off the street. Like, like he knows, isn't it? He just knows. So, I think, I think the chief is like, kind of like, yeah, boy, this ain't working now, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think, I think the chief just wanted, like, initially, just wanted to, like, look, th that kind of cop protection, isn't it? It's like, you know, my my cops ain't dirty, like, you know what I mean? So, when well, now he's got the information, he can't fight, isn't it? No, definitely. Um. But uh, yeah, How, we're gonna get on to Howard. Um, the other person I thought was it was funny, but it's not funny, is Snap some pop. <laughs> like Marv yeah. went to go and talk to them, was like, Look, we're looking for Ronnie, yeah. blah blah. Then they start doing all of this, like it's, it's when he tries to walk past him. It stands yeah, yeah. his way, like go on there, big man, go on there, big man, big man, big man. Hey, I'm here, big you know, like he asserted that that kind of yeah. the alpha melting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny because, yeah. like, all of the others, they just, all of the girls dash themselves at the man, then, bro. Like, hey, Marvin, you're still looking good. Like, I was thinking, what? Your day with your yeah, husband, that, bro. Yeah, like, I'm so glad exactly? you said that. Yeah, because that, that, um, what's her name? Snaps. What's what, what's the, yeah. what's the woman? Pop, pop, nuts, whatever, innit? Like, 
She's probably a predator, you know. Even when like when Ronnie first came on the scene, she's like, mm, mm, mm. Like, <laughs> uh, cool looking like, yeah, yeah. A Me Too movement, please. Like, do you know what well, I mean? Like, you're, you're, but you're there you with your what? husband. That's the thing. It's not even that you're you're moving reckless. You're moving there with your husband next to you, bro. But you can tell you can tell like they just, they've just got that thing going. It's like he's he's not he's not insecure to the point where he's like why move why are you moving to the next man in front of me, isn't it? Because he just knows what time it is, isn't it? I just think they're freaks. Oh, most definitely, bro. Most definitely. Yeah, um, but um, yeah, go on. I feel for jukebox. <sighs> well, her, her singing her singing career looks like it's over before it started. She's now gonna have to join the army, mm. and uh, and that girl told her that she wants to move to her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we, we all saw this in the cards, right? We we all saw this. Yeah, we saw the move. We saw them yeah. two linking for a long time. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But do you know what it is? I think I'm saying Jubox is doing the right thing, but I think her her family. But it, it's a bit strange because we know what's happened to Jukebox and obviously in power. So I'm like, yeah, she's she, doing she, the right. She's doing she the right died, thing. It? Sorry, did she, she died in power? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, she died. Yeah. yeah. That, you know what, that, that that saddens me, you know, because I actually like Jukebox in this. Yeah, like, she's she, a good character. Jukebox yeah. in power is Jukebox in power is not Jukebox in in Raisin Cane. Yeah, like she's probably one of the one of the likable characters, and it's like, yeah, your fate is like, your fate is it's like it's like it's a Darth Vader thing. Do you know what I mean? Like like this 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 yeah. nice girl just turns out to be like some some waste <laughs> like. Yeah, like yeah. Like... I watched some of the original power the other day. Jukebox is an mm. animal, bro. Yeah, and, an and, probably, and probably going going to the army and coming back is probably made you an animal. Yeah, because I, I think yeah. I think it's a case of obviously what years is based in nineteen eighties, right? Nineties, 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 like early to mid nineties, I think, isn't it? No, because yeah, in, in my head, I, I was just thinking, okay, night and night. So I was just thinking to myself, a woman going into, black woman going into going into the army and potentially mistreated. I, I don't know. I was just thinking thoughts in my head just now. But I'm just like, and she's come back kind of angry, looking to take revenge. Not revenge, but just kind of like seeking, of, seeking power in, in that sense. No pun intended. Um, and, and joining the yeah. police force and all that kind of stuff. Do you get what I mean? It would it would be interesting to know what her the the, the rise and the fall was with her, really. Yeah. Because again, like even though she went to the army, well, we don't know if she actually went to the army. Um, but we, all we know is that she ended up with being, being a police officer. So there's something about her wanting to do some sort of law enforcement, like oh, some, something like uh, yeah. yeah, something to serve her her country in some way. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, but definitely. yeah, yeah, because yeah, like I didn't, I, I didn't like jukebox one bit in power, in power, like the original series. And you remember this? Uh, how jukebox yeah. came in the original power, yeah. Original power. Yeah. There's the two. Remember, there's the two black guys trying to rob the convenience store. Yeah, what she it comes in, and she's like, "You messed up," duh, duh, duh. and then out of nowhere, she shoots my man dead. And you're like, huh? And that's what I said. Yeah, jukebox is on smoke, bro. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to say. She's not scared to use the gun, like no. in 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 original power. So that's why I'm thinking that army, the army effed her up massively. Yo, who knows why? Who knows? No, but I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens. But she has to go to the army anyway because she signed the documentation. Once you yeah. sign the documentation that you are, if you don't go to the army, then you you're you're summoned fundamentally. Hmm. Hmm. Kanan, Kanan, Kanan. Obviously, I still don't like the fact that Kanan don't talk properly, but um, he showed his like he showed yeah, his yeah, level. Extra balls in his mouth this this week, man. <laughs> what? Exactly. It's, it's like he had, it's like he just feels something in his mouth every episode. Like it's like a hamster. Like it's like a hamster. <laughs> you know when a hamster fills the teeth <laughs> with food? Yeah, that's what it. That's still what it like feels it. like. Still not like. It. Still not like the character. But Kanan stood up to Ronnie at one point. Like he was like, Ronnie, not my mom's. Like you got it. Oh, yeah, because like, they've done the drive-by, right? They've done, huh? they done the drive-by. Right? 
Because, yeah, they've done the drive-by, didn't they? Yes, they yeah. did the drive-by yeah. at Rax, which is yeah. wild. Yeah, that's that's definitely where you can't you can't do that. You can't. That is like I I get it, but obviously, what do they expect Kenin to feel like? But to be honest, Kenin, the way he's been he, the way he's been going on for the last few weeks, he was he was agreeing f f Rax. Do you yeah. get what I mean? So I'm like, like you know, everybody's on your mum and not on her in that way. Do you get what I mean? But you know. What? I think I think there's like this unspoken code in it. It's like I can I I'm the one that can say f f my mum in it, but you guys are not literally allowed to do it. Do you know what I mean? I get that. Like she's still my mum at the end of the day, and as much as I hate her, you can't just be like <laughs> it's not open season yeah. for her, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I, I I totally get that. I totally get that. But yeah, they they probably try, they probably try to take her out and everything, um, but somehow she got away that. That land Range Rover she's got, boy, old school Range Rover saved her differently. Um, That's the first one I've actually seen her look scared as well, you know. Oh, Arkiza. Yeah, that one there, there was too, too many machine guns um, going at her. <laughs> and it was unexpected as well, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you're going to be a bit startled with someone to start spraying bullets at you from nowhere. Yeah, but you know what? In that, that particular scene, when she kind of drove off, yeah. Because I'm sure she was injured, but when you see her at the house, she had no form of injuries. I'm telling you now, oh. if someone spraying up, um, there's, um, there's about four machine guns that went off. You're getting touched. <laughs> 100%. And she's like, it's normal. Yeah, yeah, I got away. I was like, boy. Oh, we forgot as well, Kanan's girlfriend said she's pregnant. <sighs> Do we suspect that this could be a young baby, Sean? No, it's not though, because it's a different woman. Is it? Was was yeah. his mum alive? Was his mum alive in in the recent in the recent power? She wasn't about. No, I, I don't, don't know, know, but her name wasn't wasn't that girl's name anyway. It wasn't her name. I think his mother, his baby mother's name was like not Angela. I can't remember what it was anyway. But it, that's that's not her. The thing is, it would make sense if it is because. I suppose Kane, because even like when we see Kane and Fifty in there, like they look like they're brothers. So he had him, he had him young, in there. You know, you had, you had, you had... Like, Sean, Sean looked like some big man, like that basically looked like yeah. his, his brother, like it's five years apart. Yeah, it's proper true. It's proper true. No, but is the well, if it is her, then the name has changed dramatically versus what it was in power. The other ones, they probably done it and forgot. <laughs> No, they can't forget. They can't forget that, and there's no way you can forget that. No way, because I know. Yeah, I that minor like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Her name's, uh, I'm on. Sorry, I'm on. Stars Power fandom thing. His mum's name is Jurita. Oh, um, Kanan, Kanan's son's mum. Yeah, and apparently she was. She was in season two. Okay. Oh, okay. And what's this girl's name in this and this um this last power rising Canaan? It definitely wasn't Jurita. No, it's not Jurita. Okay. Yeah, so and Jurita was, I... he was alive in season two of the power, I think. Okay, cool. And I want I wonder if Sean's named after famous as well. Famous. That's what everyone's famous been famous. saying that. Everyone's been saying yeah, that he's named after famous. Going around, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what happens with him. Does he just go to jail or does he die? Like, Mate, he has to die. He has to die. No, but but, the, the, <laughs> but, no, but if you really think about it, the only reason why you're naming your son after your friend's name, you have to die, innit? It's one of the ones that <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of you have to die. If, if you're in prison, if I'm naming my son after you, get out of here. <laughs> and potentially, Sean, maybe he protects Canaan and that's how he dies and that's why he's named after him. Yes, yeah, that that that, yeah. that makes totally sense. You don't and, 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 you don't and, and, me. <laughs> well, you're right, Merv. <laughs> um, but you also you've also got to remember, like, even when famous came to the flat, and like Kanan said, Well, what do you want? And he says, Haven't you heard? And obviously, you broke yeah. down the news about his mum, so it's just like no matter what, right. there's, there's still He's, boys, no matter what. Do you get what yeah, I mean? It's still right or die, isn't it? It's still right or die. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, can everyone say I was right about my prediction regarding the van and Kanan? 
What was your prediction? Yeah. The, about about the van kidnapping Canaan, isn't it? Like the Ronnie's peeps. But I think I feel like he got his information from from Twitter or X. No, 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 no. I, I just I told you I saw the trailer from the last episode, um, and and I thought that van is the same van that Ronnie was in. I saw the graffiti, and I thought, no, nah, Ronnie's kidnapping Canaan. I thought that's what I said to you. I said to you, man, last week. Clearly, you guys forgot um, that. No, no, okay. Right. Uh, more, more rich, late, rich. more late for God. Rich, mm-hmm. my bad, my bad. Oh, I, I that's, that's great. I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm really honoured that you can say sorry. Also, um, Kanan's girlfriend is called Crystal. Okay. okay. All right. yeah, well, we can't right, get, yeah. we can't get to the end of this review without talking about the main bloody scene. So obviously, Rack has gone to the Italian man, who is clearly Definitely. in love. Clearly, fancies her. Yeah, yeah. I want peace of the nuns. Yeah, and he gave her was it half a mil? Yeah, yeah. Half a mil because Kanan got kidnapped. Apparently, got kidnapped by Ronnie, and they needed the five hundred thousand to get the child back. Yeah. So she turns up with Marv. Um, Howard and Howard. herself, yeah, and they go to try and do the business deal with Ronnie, absolute madman. And then we hear the the reveal that the money isn't for Ronnie, the money's for Canaan, and Canaan said he got fake kidnapped. But and it was you all know, that- you know, yeah, they killed. You know, he killed it in it when he come out and said, yeah. Like it's all set up, and I thought, my guy. I thought honestly, I thought my guy. He's an absolute G because none of us, none of us saw that coming, right? No, no. Oh no, I had to rewind it. Actually, I was so baffed. (laughs) I was like, what? Yeah, I said to myself, yeah, they they're outdone. They're outdone. Racks there. They they made a like panic, get money, etc. Then. End of the day, it was all a beautiful setup. But the and thing- I think they did that because what's the name was with him? Jukebox. Like Jukebox was the one that I think sold it to Rack. Because mm. obviously Juke- Jukebox saw her cousin get kidnapped, didn't it? Yeah, 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 of course. So I think that's why Rack is not thinking. Rack is not thinking setup. You get me? Yeah. Yeah, real talk, real talk. I get that. But um, but was you surprised that Kanan shot Ronnie? Yes, I was surprised and I was angry. Because this yeah. guy, this guy needed to, no, no, I'm not sadistic, innit? just putting it out there. But I, I don't know, he just needed to, he needed to suffer. I don't, I, he died too easily. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like he needed to be dragged from, from Southside all the way to um, Arkansas or something. Like, I, I don't know, like, I don't feel like he, I think he just got away too easily. But, and that's what I said. That's why, that's why I had to rewind it because I was in disbelief. I was like, did they just kill Ronnie in the head? Like, shoot Ronnie in the head where there's no, no come, well, no there's no comeback from a headshot. There is like, no, like, on the like, there's no, you know I mean? but, um, and Ronnie turns up. Ronnie's gone. Yeah, but <laughs> see, 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 but the thing is, why did Kane, I, I'm trying to remember, why did Kane shoot him? Because was he about to shoot Rack? No. I think, I think I think they just had a, a perfect opportunity to just get rid of him. Also, right. Kanan had he couldn't control Ronnie, man. He couldn't control Ronnie for much yeah, longer. Ronnie, Ronnie's a loose cannon. He's a loose cannon, isn't it? But he's, he's fodder, bro. He's doing the madness. Take right, him yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He shot his mum in it. Think, nah, you know what? It's only a matter of time until you actually do kill my mum or you kill me. Or oh, you kill me, bro. That's that. what it is. Yeah. Like Ronnie became a kingpin and did absolutely nothing in the game, bro. Yeah. He didn't sell a drug. <laughs> he didn't do nothing. He did nothing. Imagine this. I mean, yeah. That's bought... like the. Yeah. He's like the man that bought Man United from the original, the Glazers. Yeah. He bought he bought the club with money that's not his, you know. And they said <laughs> you run it. That's what he did, bro. Yeah. Facts. But the thing is, I, 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 know. So I, I, wanted, I wanted him to scream or or, or face fit. Like, I wanted him to fear his death, innit, at least. But I wanted him to be like, what are you doing to me? Like, 
But it just it just got away easy. No, it it, it did get it did get away easy. Like um, I was like, and honestly, I was really really shocked that he died. I was like, oh my god, like who? And I like we were saying, this is where Ronnie trains Kanan to become Kanan <laughs> that we all know and love. Yeah. And, and I'm like, no, 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 no. What are you guys doing? It's like hey, you can't do that. No, but when when you think about older Kanan and his behavior, he's not he's not like he, he's not sinister like Ronnie. I think Ronnie Ronnie seems just really like stoic and just just crazy in it. Whereas Kanan's just a bit of a a bastard, basically, like yeah, yeah, and manipulative. Yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie's just straight like machine. Terminator. Trying to see revenge. Basically, basically Terminator. <laughs> Did you expect Howard to go? Oh uh, no. yeah, Howard. No, Howard had to go because because I, yeah. I, I don't know if he's obviously from the last episode. He was saying Marvin's got to go. Marvin's got to take the yeah. fall. And I, and I said to myself. Do you really think she's gonna let Marvin take the fall? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Howard became a bit. He came confidently cheeky, like to say, like but the thing is, I didn't expect him to go, but then when he did go, I'm like, yeah, actually, it does make sense because you're you're yeah. a bit cheeky, like you're just casually saying off your brother. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And Mar Marvin's proper look, like no, not, not, off Mar the not off the brother. He said the brother got go prison. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah, basically, he's yeah, but... saying that Marv's got, Marv's got to be the person that he takes full responsibility. Yeah, all of, all of I, us I, I that like... prison, Marv, you got to go to prison. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like, yeah, you can clearly, you can clearly see that Rack, obviously, with, with both her, but like, as much as Lou gets on her nerves, she's very protective of her family, isn't it? So, yeah. I don't think she would rat out any of them, to be fair. Like, and I yeah, just, no. yeah, this guy was talking. He was talking too much, but no. it's. But again, I was kind of surprised too because obviously there's still that there was that investigation going on with with Howard anyway. So I kind of, I was kind of expecting that storyline to wrap up with Howard either being arrested and 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 because of his, his crimes as a police officer, basically, yeah. isn't it? But, but um, I didn't. I yeah. didn't because by him dying, of yeah, because by him dying, everything drops. Everything's gone. Yeah. If yeah, it goes away, so yeah, everything before, literally goes go away. Prison, you're always going to be at the end of a line thinking, "Is my man snitching?" Yeah, yeah. He yeah. can't implicate you to. If he was in prison, he can implicate you to this, this. The way you know how the, the way he speaks, in a way, he's proper quick and he would just suck everyone in and get someone charged or something. You know, you know, he would have died. You know, he would have died chewing up for his um, he's he's he's, he's lunch. You know them them. Them quick jokes in it, like no, <laughs> it's oh. true, it's probably true. You know, like, 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 jokes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> and yeah. they walk past him and it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I do you think do you think Kanan was upset with the fact that his dad, his mum killed his dad? Yeah, he's just like, What the hell is like he's like he's upset, but but he wants he can tell you in his explanations, like what the fuck. Mm. Yeah. Do, do, do you get what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's your dad. It's just like, but to be honest, he went to. He's the one that went to go and shoot his own dad, didn't it? Do you get what well, I mean? He didn't know that. He didn't know at the time. Uh, okay, yeah, he didn't know that at that time. Cool. I, I, I agree. I agree. He didn't know that at the time. But um, but like him, Howard being killed next to Ronnie just implicates Ronnie's a cr known criminal. Oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Look, and it's a perfect Howard, solution. Like, yeah. That's it. It's the perfect solution. Sign, seal, and deliver. Yeah, but I wonder how they're going to think that because, like, they both, when he got shot in the back of his head, Howard got shot in the side of his head. So they have to think about the logistics of how this, how no, this even played. Yeah. No, Maybe a third person involved in it. No, yeah, exactly. The logistics is they were involved in a, a criminal activity yeah, yeah. and they were both yeah. executed. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Both executed. Um, it's not like Howard has got his badge anymore. He, hasn't, he ain't got no badge. No badge, um, no Yeah. So, but what what was funny about Howard? Because I knew he was gonna go because um, he kept on saying we are family. We are. What do you mean we are family, bro? You just gave me a sperm in it, and I've got Canaan in it. That's it. You know them ones. He kept on saying we were family. We were family, and I was just like, I said, you 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 definitely gotta go. 
and we obviously we had the big reveal. The ghost Unique is back. But ghost what, Unique what, is back. But what is your what is your real thoughts about this? I love who. Oh. Do you know what? I I, I should be mad. I should be angry because it's classic. It's classic power. Yeah. Sunset Beach, isn't it? <laughs> like, but that's why I was like, well, I didn't see that coming at all. This this guy got bludgeoned, yeah, like, and 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 left for dead, yeah, and he's just there walking like some day walker, bro. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> see, see, my problem is he has no right to come back. True. But, true. Because, because to me. If he's the one that didn't kill his brother, what? What? I don't. Know, what is your purpose? There's no point coming back because but he would. He would have killed his brother. He was there, bro. I, I get he was there, but and so what? What are you gonna do? Like you coming into the next season? Like the only thing that you can demand back is from Rack is that the part of the drug, the Chinese trade that she took from you, took back because everyone thought you were dead. Do you get what I mean? It's like there's no revenge act from from him. No, but for anyone. I don't think he is. I think he's just happy to be alive. Nah. Happy to be alive. Lick racks. No, nah, even, even, nah. even way, mm. even way, it, it was basically like a hat trick in it for this episode. You you had Howie dying, you had Ronnie dying, and you had um uni coming back. And I I feel like they just fought for Let's just let's just bring it back because I, I yeah it's true I don't see what purpose he has to be in it still. Like it, it's yeah, not to say it, like is he going to get revenge for Ronnie's death when Ronnie basically no but he doesn't need revenge. Like, no, I don't think he cares about Ronnie's death. No, like, he, he, he's he's in what, love with Rex, bro. Yeah, it's just like yeah, what, 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 yeah. But I, I, either way, I, I was just like whoa, like yeah, I, I reacted to it. Didn't it? Yeah, it was so, it was so, a big it, it definitely was a big reveal. But from my understanding, because obviously I read online, um, but basically he actually did quit the show and he wanted to leave the show. Yeah. And and basically 50 kind of talked him back into the show. So they've written back in to make this appearance at the end. So I don't yeah, think... Him, yeah. yeah, exactly. And I don't think Ronnie was actually meant to die. Uh, well, he might have meant to die, right? But yeah, I, uh, but, no, but I don't think I I don't think it was meant to die, and I think where they re- unique back in, it was a case of I don't know. I, I just I just I just don't think he should come back. Mm-hmm. I, I, it just puzzles me. It's like, what's your purpose in season three? Because I don't see a purpose for you, and not with that scar on your forehead either. <laughs> that, that, that scar is not nice at all, you know. I had to rewind it a couple of times. I thought, no, no, no. If anyone done that to me, they've got problems. But where have you been all this time? Where have you been? I, I don't know. Get back. Hiding in the... Maybe oh, he's just what, been what, watching like, like the bar, isn't it? Like the bar. I'm saying. And why is his boot so big like that? <laughs> like when, when I saw some boots, I thought, who's that? Yeah, that's what I I, I, I I wouldn't think he would. I came back like some like his like his cyborg or something, you know. Just what I'm trying to say. Like I would I would have been happy, right, if there was two people looking at the top of the window, right, and it, it was a black boy and a white boy saying, Oh my god, did you just see oh, that? Oh, here we go. And, here we go. No, no, and then they ran off. Like, oh my god, did you <laughs> see that? And that was a Tommy, and that was a ghost. That would that would that would there would have would have made me go, I'll rip my top off and all sorts, bro. No, but I don't that's feel what, like that's, that's it. Like, I don't want to see like I, it's it's more <laughs> confirmed for me. I do not want to see their faces. No, yeah, their to, young yeah. faces, their old faces. I don't need them, that trio. No, nah, trust bro, trust me, you need them. I, do, do you know what it is? And you know what, Kate? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just thinking of diff- loads of different stuff when it comes to power. Power just just hurts my brain at times when you try and think of something, and it just changes <laughs> it all up on you. I do believe. I do believe now. Now that now that now that Unix come back from the dead, I believe Ghost is coming back. 
You heard it here first. Yeah. Somehow, <laughs> everyone's going to tie it back to Ghost coming back to life. Guys, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, can, can Ghost you, will come you back, man, bro. You, man, yeah. stop touching vape before you come on the episode. Yeah, you, man, are <laughs> touching vape that's got, like, some THC in it, bro. Put down the vape, bro. It's cool, bro. Just come back to the man. It's cool. Like, it's cool. Coffee, man. Like, man <laughs> said, James St. Patrick's coming back. No. He's coming back, bro. But how? I, I don't understand how you how you how you doing this, bro. Unique came, bro. Unique came back. He was a bludgeon, and and that happened in the nineties. Imagine with the technology in two thousand twenty four. Ghost is coming back, bro. He's coming, bro, bro, he's coming is, back somehow. Ghost, I, I lie, though, I lie. Look, bro. like I mean, did he like but Ghost? Buddy get buried or anything? We didn't. We just saw him fall to his death, but. We didn't see what happened afterwards. There was like I don't even remember seeing a funeral. No, there was a funeral. No, no, there was a funeral. There was a funeral. Could have been anybody, isn't it? Hmm. Right, to all the viewers, to all the viewers, ghost is not coming back. No, we don't know. But are there any other shows that's been gathered? That's power finished until Power Book Two comes back, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think um, BMF is coming back before that. BMF, my dogs, but that should be good, man. All right, cool. What else have you been watching though, bro? Because I I know Power was the main one that we've been watching together. So just one quick thing, Merv. We need to tell me about theme tunes that I don't like. I enjoy Ra- Raising Kinning's theme tune. It's Tommy's theme tune, which is horrendous. <laughs> but you didn't like you didn't like Raiden Kane and Shin Tune before. And that's right, not initially, that. not initially, yeah. but I do like it. But it's Tommy's one. I heard Tommy's one the other day, and I said to myself, "No, no, no, this is poor." Tower, tower. No, they're all of them are tuned. You know, I can't even lie; they're all tunes. I Wait, love also, it. Rick, Hi. Don't just let the people tune because if, if they get in contact with you about maybe being um, a part of power you universe. Said you know, you said that song sucks. We don't need you, Big ED. <laughs> <laughs> Why say that? Why that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Big ED. Why no, Merv? Why no? Why no? Why no? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'll cheers to that. I'll cheers to that. One no, bro. That was not bad. Oh my god. What else have we got on? No, I'm finished I'm sure the universe. Anyone, anyone with me on that? Oh, fuck that, bro. Sorry, carry on, Mark. What's that? What's that? What's that, Mark? What's that, no, I said I finished Master of the, of the Universe. <laughs> anyone, anyone else? Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks man. Wait, made a tea and everything, bro. You, like, watched, you, watched, you watched the right one this time. <laughs> bro, this... Oh. <laughs> it's, it's these apps. It's these apps. So I thought I watched... Um, the f- like there's five episodes in each season epi- in each season right i think the first one's like longer i think there's like five i think because there was a part it split into parts okay initially when it came out so i think it's like seven people yeah. revelation something like something it's short anyway it's still short yeah yeah i kind of enjoyed it i kind of enjoyed it it kind of reminded me i was talking rubbish when i first said what i said but yeah tila and the eagle Sorcerer, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. No, I liked it. It does. It does have a sort of um nostalgia vibe to it as well. Yeah, I do. I do like it. To be fair, so you so you watched the latest one that came out this year as well, yeah. 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 But that's what I'm saying because I watched it on the app. I watched um episodes one to ten. It said season one, and then I went to season two. But season two was the last five. Okay. The one to ten. If that makes sense so yeah and and did you know that i think about skeletor and yeah that see that that storyline i really enjoyed that because whoever no no it? yeah so did that... i i thought it was sick yeah 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 is that is that a real storyline actually is that like from when we used to watch he-man is that who skeletor is not 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 the first first he-man that we ever watched but you know the one that came out in 2002 yeah and he had the big sword and it turned around and it started doing all this yeah. transforming stuff right I think it was established in that in that one, and when Skeletor had that um, separate sword thing going on. Okay, that's a good storyline. I did enjoy that. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I thought I thought that was deep, you know. I thought, raw. 
Because I, I, as soon as I, I messaged Merv straight away, I said, Merv, is this is this the storyline that I, I never knew about back in the day? I was like, no, mm. since when? When was it ever exposed? Do you get what I mean? I thought I thought that I thought that was deep. I enjoyed that. And big, and big up William Shatner for doing his voice as well. Keldor's voice. Yeah, William Shatner. Man, 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 fully in his 90s, you know, fully into into his 90s, and he's there doing voice. Like, he's smashing it, bro. Man's no, wasting no time. Look, William Shatner, can I just, in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, that episode was f- fantastic. <laughs> Do you remember when he went into the Hillary show and it, it, before that yeah. he went to the dentist? He, yeah, it was high. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. It was high. It was high. It was high. Uh, that was absolutely <laughs> heavy. Sorry, I just I know I just went all the way to the left, but when I think of William Shatner, I think of Star um Star Trek, but automatically Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That was probably one of the best episodes I've seen of Fresh Prince because I was in tears. Yeah, <laughs> uh, honestly, it was. I'm cool. I'm like that. Oh, anyway, go on. So anyway, go on. Yeah, sorry. All right, well, thanks, yeah. Mark. Anyone else? What do you think? I finished Black Cake. Uh, uh- Oh and yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I need, to, I need to get on that, you know. I need to get on that. But they it's slightly changed from the book, and I've realized why they've changed it from the book slightly. They've changed it from the book in case they get a second a season two. Hmm. Okay, yeah, probably because in the book it's a final conclusion. So there's things that happen, it's a conclusion. Like I think hmm. this way they can try to explore characters a bit more and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. But yeah, nice, no, bruv. Very, I mean, very, very good, very good series. Where's that on? Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay, Black. Okay, cool. Black. Um. Yeah, I I, I watched um, X Men: Last Stand yesterday, and I still think that's a great film. Just, just thought I mentioned that. Yeah, it's so it's like what? I'm Juggernaut, bitch. No, no, no. <laughs> that's and what I, you like. The, 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 the Juggernaut, the whole Juggernaut in it is prophetic, right? But everything else, that was that's New the Jones. best Jean Grey you would ever get. The way she was is absolutely monstrous. Scary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. proper. Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, she she was, you know, like the whole Phoenix thing was just too it's too much with her. And I remember when when I was watching it, and Wolverine was when he had to kill her and he was walking into her and his skin was just ripping off because she was so powerful, wasn't it? Oh man, listen, bro. It's too much. But that's the first X Men that actually got me in my feelings when when uh, Professor <laughs> X went. Just this like, I was like, no great. way, this is happening. I'm in the cinema, like watching him, like pass away. It was kind of that that kind of touched me a little bit. Like you and, didn't and, like that's why I, I, like, I, I, I was eye rolling. I was eye rolling. I was like, oh, Cyclops. Oh. Yeah, like, no, no respect for Cyclops. No respect for the leaders, isn't it? Everyone's always got to disrespect the leaders. Superman, Cyclops, like show some bloody respect, isn't it? But like, you know what, like. Sorry, just quick thing in that scene that um Marlon's talking about um when uh, Professor X died, because at the same time there was Magneto right coming to cause trouble and trying to take her, and um Professor X is trying to take um take her as well. And like they were all playing this mind game to try and get her to come on each side. But when she started losing it, Magneto was like, like, gee, no, no, don't kill him. Like, yeah. allow it, in it. And it was just he man expl- okay. I think I think um Wolverine was trying to Wolverine opened the door, then Professor X looked at Wolverine and gave him a little smile. Uh, man yeah, that's what I'm saying. That t- that was a serious scene. Yeah, that was that was a serious scene. Everyone's like, like lifted him up out of his chair, like yeah. Yeah. I'm poor, I'm poor disabled <laughs> man. Deep <laughs> scene, bro. But bro, speaking of, don't um, try and make me like it, please, by the way. Don't try and make me like it. I refuse. No, nah, come on. Watch it again. Watch it again. Now like, we've it, got some, big, you know, it, it, we're, we're more big. wise. We've got more wisdom in us. Watch it again. Just, just the juggernaut thing was unacceptable. Yeah, I don't care about that. The, yeah. and I think it's the actor that they chose as well. Like, yeah, Vinny Jones. Come on, play football, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, what do you think about it? Man? Some actors have no business, no man. business at all playing roles, you know, like Kylie Minogue and Cammy. What were you thinking? This that ruins it because all you see is Kylie Minogue dressed as was it Cammy? Was it Cammy? Yeah, said? Cammy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, um, yeah that's <laughs> Vinnie Jones in the Juggernaut suit. But I will say this: speak as we're on Marvel and MCU. I actually finally gave in and I watched Marvels yesterday. Go on, I watch. I watch your thoughts. Nah, nah. You didn't nah, enjoy nah. First it. First of all, first of all, before I even talk about the film, I think it's a liberty that Brie Larson doesn't have to do anything for that role. Like her acting isn't good. One, 
too her suit is a little bit too baggy on her. Like if that was Henry Cavill or any other Superman for um all of them, they all go gym and work out and get to the I don't know, I just thought it was a bit bit disrespectful what, you, that you think, you think I wasn't baggy? able to look at any bun, huh? That's not, that's not body shame. That's not body no, shame. No, not body shame. And I'm just saying what, what I kind of, you know, it's just... I did notice the suit was a little bit thing, but you know what it is? No, I I, I don't agree. I she lost weight in this one. She was, she was more... was an excellent actor. She's an excellent actor. It's just that she she was just put in her... Uh, I don't think this is necessarily the greatest role for her. That's all it is. I think she done okay in the first one and, and, and uh, her appearances, but I just think this film... This film should have been a lot better than it was. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we could tell them about every film, but no, I, this is yeah. Like, no, no, she, she's a planet where they all sing about. and talk. Like, it's very no. gimmicky. That reminds me of like a Buffy episode. Um, no, yeah. The villain. I don't know. Worst no, no, worst to worst be honest, Captain Marvel, her major issue is for her to be as powerful as she is, she shouldn't be having to deal with the program in Marvel as she was. She's supposed to be yeah. like extremely she's like she should have yeah, had she like, should be able to handle everything by herself. Yes, yeah, she's like Superman beyond Superman levels, like really. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. When we're talking about Captain, like I, I, I when the minute they they said they were getting Captain, the, no, the minute that they showed her on the pager in um, what's it called at the end of Infinity War, I was like, yeah, no, you did not go there. You did, you 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 up the ante by like a thousand percent, yeah. But I thought, what what can they possibly do with her? That, yeah. But um, yeah. I, I think I saw it like in the first film, she had a bit of a cap on her powers because she couldn't remember, so it wasn't so that made a lot of sense. But even in Endgame, like she just when she just appeared and she just took down Thanos' ship, like if you can, yeah. This and and now she's like team up. And like she's, it's almost like she's struggling, like just watering down her powers, sort of thing. But like that, that, that film, I, I really wanted it to be better. No, it was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, I think I think the villains. I think in regard in regards to the villains, wise, but I like I like the interaction with, um, is it what's that little girl's name again? Um, uh, Kamala. I can't remember. I'm just, yeah. I gave Kamala. myself a character real name. Nate Kamala. said it twice, but. Yeah. Marla, Marla, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. So I, I like the interaction. And, yeah, Monica Rambeau. Yeah, I, I just think, I just think, you know, you know, with Captain Marvel, I think she has, she needs to go to another level where she's angry, and I don't think we've seen her angry in a sense to use her full abilities, um, like and lose it as a, as a lose it just like Jean Grey. Like a, like a whole phoenix kind of thing, because obviously there's a there's a link up with her and Rogue, right? And she goes into mm. a coma. I don't know if they're ever going to follow that storyline, but Rogue has a phoenix phoenix issue as well. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? So if you look, <laughs> you remember the animation? Rogue took away, well, took um, Captain Marvel's power away, and she fell into a deep coma. And yeah. but Captain Marvel was in her mind. And Professor X then kind of wrapped it up, so she, she was hidden within the mind. And then one day she she awoke within her mind, and she um, Rogue went absolutely mental, and no one could stop Rogue. So she will go through that element. There's, there's something's going to happen anyway, because they must they must do it because Jean, um, Captain Marvel must go through a stage where she goes ballistic, and Jean and um, and Rogue has to take her powers away from her. There must be. I think you just like angry characters. You like it when they just lose control. Yeah, Sorry, you'll, you'll see um, you'll see General um Ross Thunderbolt soon as Red Hulk man. Hopefully, oh, could go away. In, 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 in the Thunderbolts and Captain America four. No, I, I, look, look, we'll we'll, 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 we'll see. But obviously, I like angry characters because they release a lot of frustration and a, a lot of torture upon people that deserve it. Are you highly frustrated? <laughs> Sorry? It's, always, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Are you highly frustrated? No, I'm very frustrated. I'm frustrated across the world about what, what I see in the world on a day-to-day -day basis. No, there's I, know there's one thing you're not, I know there's one thing you're not frustrated about. What's that? <laughs> Marvel Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. On that bombshell, 
that's episode what episode are we? I don't know. One, two, 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 four. <laughs> two, two, four. All right. Rate, comment, more. subscribe. Next week you will see Kel. All right, people. We out. Peace. Peace. Love, love.